How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you guys how you can use the NordVPN application on your iPhone. Now, no worries. I am on PC right now. That's true. But I'll show you guys footage on the iPhone as I talk about the features. But before we begin, if you guys are interested in NordVPN, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as a full review if you'd like to learn more about NordVPN. Okay, so the user interface for NordVPN is a very intuitive one. It's got this very nice map design, and it's as simple as when it comes to using it, of course, you can just hit the quick connect button and it will connect you to the best server it thinks is best for you. But I'm pretty sure you wanna be a little bit more specific about your server selection, so let's just go ahead and talk about the features and uh, you know this way you can optimize the use of your VPN. Now, if you bring up the servers tab from the uh, bottom here, uh, of course, I'm connected to the OpenVPN protocol, and that's why I can see all of the um, specialty servers. So just keep that in mind. That is if you want to see the specialty server. So let's just talk about these specialty servers real quick. Uh, first of all, with regards to servers, you have over 5,400 servers in 60 countries. So quite a bit of servers and a decent selection of countries in 60 countries. So you're sure to find a server near you, no matter your location across the globe. Now, with regards to these specialty servers, you have dedicated IP, which will give you the same IP. These are static IP servers. So unlike the dynamic IP servers, which are the regular servers, which means is that in dynamic IP servers or regular servers, you'll be getting a different IP address every time you go back to one of these servers. Whereas with dedicated IP servers, you'll always be getting the same IP address. Double VPN servers will route your connection through two servers rather than one for double the security. Obfuscated servers will help you connect to NordVPN if you're in a censorship heavy country. Onion over VPN servers will give you the anonymity of the Tor browser on top of the encryption of uh, NordVPN. And peer-to-peer -peer servers are for specialty peer-to-peer -peer activities, such as torrenting. So that's pretty much it for uh, the specialty servers. They can be pretty useful. It's definitely a plus to have these in your arsenal. And besides that, you can either navigate these servers on the map or you can browse them on the list. And if you go to the settings, you will find a protocol list. You have NordLynx, ICAF2, OpenVPN UDP, and TCP. And below that, you can set your own DNS with custom DNS. But if you don't have anything in mind, you can just keep it a default. This will definitely be the best option for most people. And as far as the protocol, I would recommend using NordLynx. It's definitely going to be the best performing protocol. In VPN connection, you also have the auto connect feature and you can add which networks are trusted or not. In here, I'm just showing you guys how you will lose access to these specialty servers once you connect to NordLynx. Uh, and you'll only have the peer-to-peer -peer specialty servers instead of the entire list. But again, if you don't need these specialty servers, just stick to NordLynx and you're good to go. And once you're good to go, just pick a server and it will connect you as such. Here in the Tools tab, you have Threat Protection and Dark Web Monitor and some handy Siri shortcuts if you'd like to voice your commands to your iPhone to turn on or turn off the VPN. All right, so threat protection will block malicious websites and ads when connected to the VPN and dark web monitor will alert you if your credentials get publicly exposed online. So these are always good to just keep on at all times. There's no reason to turn these off. It's definitely pretty useful. And that's it for these settings. You can go to general to uh, adjust the appearance if you want a light or dark theme and you have multi-factor authentication if you'd like to turn that on for uh, a little bit of extra security. So that is pretty much it with NordVPN. You'll be able to secure up to six devices per subscription. NordVPN is a top quality VPN that is very well known for its performance. Uh, especially through the NordLynx protocol. So I definitely recommend sticking with the NordLynx protocol if you're looking for top performance as well as optimized security. And now that you understand how NordVPN works, you can just hover over the uh, map or and pick a server. Um, let's say you're trying to unblock Netflix US, you're going to go to one of these US servers, LA or New York or whatever it is that you prefer. Now keep in mind, of course, the closer the server to your actual location, the better the connection. So with that in mind, you'll be able to optimize the use of NordVPN on your iPhone. 
Again, if you guys are interested in NordVPN, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as a full review. If you'd like to learn more about NordVPN with regards to the privacy policy, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel. Stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.